fine day here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm so glad to see you. I hope everyone else is doing well today and are able to get out and enjoy this day that the Most High has given us and made. It's a good day today. It's what folks call hump day. And I am feeling it, I must say. I felt real good starting the week off. But now I'm starting to feel this bike ride. And I don't, I don't think so much of the soreness of my muscles, but of my hind part, my butt. Yes, I said hind part. That's what we call it over here in the deep south. Anyway, that's why I, I got that from my Aunt Georgia. She would always straighten the wood by hind points. Yeah, she said points. If we didn't act right. <clears throat> Let's see if my bench is dried up. <clears throat> Pardon me. And today I thought I'd go with my words for today. And the one that is going through my mind and my heart is inexhaustible. Inexhaustible. And of course we know what inexhaustible means. That means an unending supply. An unending supply. And I will definitely put the definition in the recording. But the first thought I had when I thought of inexhaustible was the Most High's love for us. And His supply for whatever we may need. And in one of the definitions, it says that um, of a supply that will never be used. <clears throat> so the Most High has a reserve that we'll never tap into. But He also has reserves for each of us, which means He has lessons if you want to call it things objects reserved for us that means laid back in the cut and basically for when we succeed in the present test because <laughs> as I heard a teacher teach one time he said you're either in a test going through a test or about to go through a test you're in a test going through a test or about to enter a test and that's fine with me. I didn't I didn't got used to it. To the point so now that as I heard a teacher teaching yesterday, she was saying that some of you don't even know you're in a test. And see that's how it should be when we're so leaning in and depending on the most high for his inexhaustible supply for us each and every day, then we're not paying attention to the test or the trials yes we feel them I'm not gonna lie we feel them but this, it's all about this constant contact with his Ruach HaKadosh his Holy Spirit and see I was thinking about him this morning and uh, um, <clears throat> how did Job Noah and a few other oh yeah Enoch how did these fellas walk upright before the Most High. How were they perfect? And see, I don't think it was so much about their perfection, but their perfectness to seek the Most High's face and to do what He told them to do. And see, a 
lot of people say that they didn't have the Holy Spirit back then, but they had him. They had him. They had the Most High's presence because he was leading and guiding them. He was talking to them. How did Noah know to build a boat? And he not walk with the Most High daily. So much so that he pleased them so much that he was no more, which means he just, he didn't die. He just went on into the spirit, I guess you would say, with the Most High, or where the Most High was, is in the spiritual realm, on that other dimension. But that's my word for today, inexhaustible. Make sure I give this word justice because it's a huge one. And we have to really digest this word today as far as the Most High's love for us. And not only His love for us, but His supply for us for whatever we need. We can lean and depend on Him for those items. We, we must just walk upright before Him as Job did. Hasatan, Satan, have you considered my servant Job? And see, I always said that in the back of my mind. I want the most out to brag on me like that, to where he can brag on me to his enemies and ask his enemies, have you have you thought about trying my servant Robert? Well, let me get back to my walk. And my next word of the day. It's testimonial, testimonial, testimonial means a statement given about the benefits received or testimony given about benefits received. And I thought that was such a powerful statement because a testimony is you sharing that you receive benefits. And I thought this was such a powerful grouping of two words. And by the way, I get my words from Word Genius. Webster's, I believe it's Webster's and another name, but that's where I get my word from the word of the day. You could just type in word word of the day, and those two um, definitions will come up, or two words will come up. But I always like to see what those words are and let the Most High speak to my spirit. And today it was very easy with those two pairing of those two words testimonial and, and it goes so much deeper than just that because a testimony can also mean going through a test and surviving and then telling other folks about your experience your lived experience experience which is wisdom so your testimony is you sharing your wisdom with other folks Let me get back to walking. Here comes some guys cussing over, over there. Uh, frisbee, <laughs> frisbee golf. <laughs> but yeah, let me get my walk back on. Get my breathing right. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do a little more walking today. And maybe ride like two miles today. Instead of three. Inexhaustible, powerful, and testimonial. So I guess to sum them two words up, what would be your testimonial about the inexhaustible love and care of the Most High? 
I just walk up on a conversation between a young man and a young lady. Well, between a young man to a young lady. And he was trying to explain to her about aliens and them coming to Earth and harvesting the gold. And I don't question other people's mentality as much as I judge the words that's coming out of their mouth. Because sometimes they're just misled and maybe not crazy. <laughs> But that goes back to what I was just talking about. About the Ruach HaKadosh and being led by him and listening to his voice and not all them other voices in your head. I just wanted to come back and say how important it is for us to establish and keep this constant relationship with the Ruach HaKadosh daily. Daily, we can't live without him daily. If I can clarify myself, I wasn't calling the young man crazy for thinking that aliens were coming to Earth and harvesting gold. On the contrary, I was saying that he was misled and not crazy. It's a well-known fact that the aliens that are speaking on are really the fallen angels. <clears throat> yeah, they're here and have their kingdom set up for a short time. But we know the kingdom is within us and the kingdom of the Most High has overtaken the kingdom of darkness. And every time we tell our testimonial or give our testimony, we're dispelling that darkness and bringing the kingdom of heaven onto this physical earth. And I give my word of encouragement or thought of encouragement for the day. If you haven't experienced the inexhaustible love and care of the Most High, and you don't have this testimonial as I do from all the ups and downs I've been through, that I'm sure you, you've, you've experienced in your life. And it's as simple as calling out to the Most High and inviting Him into your life. And filling you with His Rock Hockadesh. His Holy Spirit. Simple as that.